Good morning, everybody. Well, today is a pretty cold morning, although not extremely cold. Uh, I am going to go down and see about hauling some hay and logs. My log landing still has a lot of logs on it that I hope to get home. The weather for the next two weeks is really iffy. Uh, I need cold weather, frozen ground to get back in there, even with the horses. And I still have actually one more little logs I'd like to get out of there that the truck I'll have to haul. But it surely is not looking too good for that. This happens every spring, and uh, or if I'm on a job like this, last few years, and I have to really get going in the morning and get this stuff done. So I have those few hours in the morning when it's really cold to be able to go across the field before it softens up again. I do not want to make ruts in my field if I can possibly help it. So today, this morning, I have um, uh, Ken and Buck with me, and we're going to go out into the field, which yesterday was even too soft to even pull the wagons out of the field behind the um corn crib so hopefully this morning i can i'm sure i can get them out of there this morning so i'm gonna get them out of there i also have some slab wood to deliver for our a customer which i use the wagons for and I, I couldn't even do that yesterday because i couldn't get into the field because it's too soft so this morning i gotta take advantage of the few hours we have first thing this morning to get these jobs done so let's go out and get these wagons out of the field good morning everybody i'm coming along this morning to help jim um, mostly just doing the camera work, but who knows what kind of adventures we're going to have this morning. Okay, we're going to decide now how to do what I'd like to do. I don't know if I can do this at all, but I'm going to attempt to hitch all three wagons together and uh, they go down. We have so little time. I. I might only have time to bring, get all three loaded up and just bring one home. So if I have the other two loaded up down there, then I can, then and if it's out of the wet spots, then I can still bring them up at any point. So I need to check on a couple things. What are you checking for? how to make the caravan make it work. So I think what we'll do is we'll take, I think I want the flat wagon last. So um, we will, if I hit under that one over there, I'll attempt to get that over there and we can get this hitch right here. And then maybe I can pull ahead and, uh, there's no way I can back up two wagons. So it's gonna be a little tricky. Um, well, let's just get going and see what happens. There. is way in on this one. There's one in there, hon. Maybe too much. We'll see. We'll see what he does. These sliding hitches are pit. Uh, um, I don't know what you call it. Sliding. What do you call these things? Yeah, they're great. They're heavy, but they work really great. I'll just have to have them back up so they can lock it in place now.
As you can see, the ice is not too thick. Things will turn to mud pretty quickly. So we're going to have to get that hooked because like you said, you can't back up. Hey, you know what occurred to me? You're going to, if you can get this hooked up, you're going to be driving an 18 wheeler today. <laughs> this is just exactly, I think, 18 wheels. So we're going to be coming into the field now. I've, the skid steer's down here. Jim drove it into the field for me. And here come the horses in the 18-wheeler. I just want to give a little shout out to anybody who is an 18-wheeler driver. I think you're amazing. I would never do such a thing. And I think I have a lot of respect for anybody who does. Put it in the comments if you've ever driven an 18-wheeler um, or are driving them now. And put in the comments your favorite 18-wheeler song. I wanted to say hi to my uncles, Job, Vincent, Timmy, and Philip, who are truckers. And they have even hauled Kentucky Derby winners um, they've trucked horses all over the country for a long time. Thankfully, they don't have to bring these all home loaded up. It is amazing how well these, um, how light they are to some degree. Well, you made it. I'm not going to get a very big load of logs on without any stakes in this wagon, but we'll just have to do the best we can and make sure I remember next time to get my stakes put in.
Jim's fat for the dray I, or the scoot. Jim's bringing the scoot back up while he can get it out of here before things get all soft and um, too hard to get in here. And he is always worried about making a lot of ruts. So that's why he's in a rush this morning before things warm up so he can get things out without making ruts. Jim's going to get these bales up on the road. He's going to be bringing one load home and leaving one here to come back and get. As you can see, he's got the scoot here ready to go sometime when he can come back down and get it. He's going to take this load and put it up on the road. Thankfully, we live on a very quiet road, and uh, they're nice and wide. It's a nice wide road, so we can leave them here until we can come back and get them. So here comes the last load. Trays over, are the scoots over there ready to go? And here's the other two loads ready to come home. And I'll bring the skid steer home. So I decided to wait until after lunch to bring my other two loads up the hill and I decided to hitch my Belgians, Lady and Bill, up to do that job. Here's their first load, the Belgians, this afternoon. Okay, that's going to do it for today. Um, 
thanks for coming along as we get these logs out of here and this this these round bales and it's good i got those logs out this morning because it's turned into quite a muddy mess here this afternoon it's in the in the mid 40s i think and uh, so the weather has definitely changed for today and hopefully next few days i can still be able to get a few more logs out first thing in the morning it's uh, it's so nice to get back to work after oh It's so nice to get back to work after three weeks of recuperating from my surgery and my horses are definitely out of shape too and that's another reason why I chose to use the blacks this morning and these two this afternoon because we've got to slowly build our muscles back up both the horses and myself so that we can get some serious work done. So anyways I hope you enjoyed the video you guys have a great day we'll see you next time.